Are you interested in YouTube automation? Maybe what you want to do is automate an infographic. It could be a top 10 AI products, or maybe you want to do a Twitter card automation, or maybe you want to automate the outro. This is something I did as a proof of concept in a loom for a client recently, and I thought I'd showcase exactly how you can do that using simple tools like Claude Code and Remotion in this case. I'm Happy Dave, let's get into it. Okay, this video is to showcase how you can automate video creation of things like these tables. And it comes because this table showed up on the AI TLDR channel. You can see the little animation of tools appearing. It's very much based off a social media graphic that you see all the time, the top 10 XYZs, and they all show up. And you notice that there's a little bit of image misalignment going on. And it's because of the nature of how these slides were created in Canva. So what happened was at different times, slides were duplicated, more information was happening and somewhere it shifted a little bit to the left. We can also see some misalignment in these two bars. So this is actually quite time consuming to do in Canva and it's not the prettiest. It's, it's pretty good. It's just like it is Canva. You can do some pretty good stuff. But what if we could take that to a much greater level? And that's what I want to show with Remotion. So here we have Remotion. It looks like a video editor, a timeline video editor, and it looks like that because it is. But what makes it very different to any video editor you've ever seen is that it's a programming language based video editor. So everything that we see here is just little micro applications that have been built and They've got things like color controls that we can do and we can play around with different settings. We could change the text, which I've already done once, and we'll just change that hello from David. So this little hello world application came with the Ringmotion Studio, but I built a bunch of other graphics. So I think the first one we're going to look at is the top 10 reveal. So if we come back over to the video that we're seeing here from AITLDR, this is a top 10 AI tools reveal where we've got categories down the left and we've got AI tools down the right. So what I ended up doing was going into chat GPT and describing different micro apps that I wanted to create. One of them is the O1 top 10 reveal. And we can see the requirements docs here. We can change information, stuff like that. And through a little bit of extra prompt magic, I went in and turned it into a complex structure for video animations within this Remotion Hello World. And so let's go and actually have a look at the top 10 AI reveal tools for 2025. And we've got number four, number five, number six, and these are all coming through in red. That is actually changeable. If we wanted, we could go with that, but we'll leave it at red because number one, two, and three are all now about to pop in. And the good thing about this animation is I could go and click the render button down in the bottom right and turn this into a video. Now, that's one sort of animation, but I saw another variation of an animation online that I thought I wanted to do for myself. So what I did is I just went over to my GitHub username. It's got some 88 code repositories in this. I want to see this information in an animation. Now, as I was building it, I did misalign the names a little bit. So we're going to see this in the tweet type on is where we're going to see the GitHub repository. So here it's coming through. Let's just change the size of it. So it's a little bit more readable and we'll get rid of the property grid over on the right. And what we're now seeing is an animation around my GitHub programming repository. We could put my name in there, the name of the repository. We've got the pinned repositories all just typing across as we go and we can see the contributions. And all of this was done in a one-shot prompt. So then let's look at the next one I did, which was really a tweet. Like what happens if we, and that's when we click on this particular thing, we've got an animated Twitter post. So we see Appy Dave, Appy Dave, just shipped a new feature, sometimes the smallest optimizations. And we've got all this information coming through. Now, all the data is all configurable, as you can see over here on the right in the property grid. And all of it was generated in one shot prompt 
based on a little prompt structure that I put together for Remotion. Now, for the last one, I wanted to look into an idea that I've had on my channel a year and a half ago, and it was animated YouTube outros. Now, it doesn't look like what I want, but most of the information is there. So what we're seeing at the moment is the sort of thing that I kind of say at the end of a YouTube video. Usually I say, I'll do a little bit of a recap. I'll talk about what the next video is. I'll ask for a like and subscribe. I'll maybe suggest people comment down below and tell them what's coming up next. So here it is, Happy Dave. We've got the number of subscribers. Here are three videos that you might find interesting please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video and then the next video can pop up like this and that could be what it is and i can also tell people about the chapter codes so all of this animation again was a one-shot prompt and it built it all now it's just a case of tweaking it to make it look pretty so this is using prompt engineering claude code and remotion to generate any sort of animation that you want where you're doing infographics and information like that. So let's just recap. What we did was created these four video infographic animations. The first one was the top 10 reveal, which was the sort of showcase of maybe 10 different products that you want to see on a video. Then I took one of my GitHub profiles and we animated it. We also took a tweet and animated that. I took care of the outro of a YouTube video where we talk about the next video, the like and the subscribe and the please comment down below. Now the visuals in all of this were a bit low quality because of the Loom video, but if you want to see more videos on Remotion, the, the next ne video is actually going to be how I built each of those. I'm Happy Dave, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.